Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So you've decided to go ahead and pick up the 2023 Tacoma. You're not going to buy the 2024. You don't want that four-cylinder turbo, or you just don't like the looks of it. And then there's always the unknown of a brand new model year, right? So what deals are out there on the 2023 Tacoma? You know, it's that time of the year when Toyota runs their Toyota-thon. And interestingly, when I went to Toyota's site, they didn't list the Tacoma as part of the Toyota-thon. The Tundra's there, the Camry, a bunch of their other models, but not the Tacoma. So I decided to pull up the Tacoma and see what deals they're offering because they can't just leave the Tacoma out, right? And there are a few, and we're going to go over what you can get right now as far as financing goes through Toyota and what it's going to cost you in the end. So I looked them up. This comes straight from Toyota's website. You can look it up yourself. But why do that when I'm going to tell you? First of all, what they're offering, 2023 Tacoma, it's at whatever the cost is. So these numbers will vary a little bit depending upon what your final deal is, right? But they're offering 3.99% as far as the finance charge goes, which given normal rates right now isn't horrible. It's not great, but it's not five or six or more percent, right? It's a 48 month term. So you can get 3.99% for 48 months. Now, there are some stipulations to this. You have to have tier one or tier one plus credit. That would be excellent credit. They're not going to give you this rate if that score you have is too low. You also have to select from dealer inventory. So you can't go out and, and build something, which I don't think you can do right now anymore with the Tacoma anyway. Um, and you can't, according to the verbiage, pick one out of allocation, although that's something you'd want to clarify. I'm guessing that if Toyota or the dealerships rather have a truck coming via allocation, it's probably considered to be part of their inventory and you could still get these rates. But that's definitely something you'd want to clarify. Next up, there is a military discount. It's 500 bucks. So if you qualify for that, if you're a veteran, and thank you for your service, by the way, you can get 500 bucks off or a $500 rebate on that model, or I believe any Toyota model. And lastly, we have the college graduate, $500 off as well. So that's it. Those are all the incentives that Toyota is offering right now on the Tacoma. But what's it gonna cost you? So I went through a, a little scenario, if you will, kind of calculating uh, what it's gonna cost you out of pocket to get what I consider to be a good payment. And for me, I wouldn't pay any more than 500 bucks a month in a car payment. I think if you go higher than that, you're kind of really strapping yourself uh, with those monthly payments once you add insurance to it and anything else. So what they're offering is $22, or what this equates to, is $22.57 per $1,000 financed. So for every $1,000 you finance, your payment's going to be $22.57 times the number of thousands. For example, let's say that you went in and you were picking up a $40,000 Tacoma. Those are 40 $1,000 increments, right? So it's simple. You take 40 times $22.57 and you come up with $908.80 per month in payments. Add insurance to it. Let's take a guess. Let's say you've got good insurance. I don't know, 100 bucks a month. So you're going to spend, what, $1,008.80 a month in car-related expenses. Forget about rent, food, house payment, everything else. That's a lot of money. I would never do that. It's way too much. Now, let's change it a little bit because chances are you've got something to trade, right? You're going to drive something in there, trade it off, maybe put a little cash into the deal as well to get that money down a bit, the amount that you're going to finance. So going with that $40,000 example, you'd have to put down $18,000 either in trade equity or cash or a combination of the two to get 
the amount financed down to $22,000 to yield a payment of $496.54 per month. That satisfies that $500 maximum that I would suggest that you never exceed. Again, it can be cash or equity. If you've got a no car or no vehicle to trade and you've got an extra $18,000 lying around in the bank, uh, well, then you could sock that into the deal to come up with that $22,000 financed. And by the way, just to be clear, to come up with that $496.50 per month payment, you would have to finance no more than $22,000. That's equivalent to 22 $1,000 increments times the $22.57 per month that you pay for every $1,000 financed. Is that a great deal? Well, it depends. I mean, you know, if you need a vehicle, you need a vehicle. You want to pay as little as possible to get that vehicle, right? That's why you go in and try to negotiate price. That's another problem these days. Given the limited supply and the fact that Toyota is no longer, I don't believe, building any new Tacomas. I mean, they've got their backlog, right, that they're going to build up. But with the 2024 coming out towards the end of this month, they're not going to add any more to what they're building. So the supply is done. That means there's not a lot of wiggle room for you to be able to go in and negotiate because people are buying those before they even come up to the dealership via allocation, right? The other problem is, is there's not a big selection out there. I mean, you can't go in and pick out exactly what you want. You're kind of at the mercy of whatever Toyota has built and what they've allocated to the dealerships. In other words, you've got to take what they're offering or go buy something else. And you know, it's interesting to me. One thing that I want to add, I've been asking questions on the internet uh, via videos and things about whether or not anybody is going to buy this 2024. And amazingly, it's about almost 90% or so, somewhere in that range, of people that say they are not going to buy the 2024 for whatever reason. They don't like the body style of it. They don't want all that tech. They certainly don't like the four-cylinder turbos. So that makes it even more scarce or the market even more scarce for the 2023s because folks are buying those or, God forbid, going to a different brand altogether. The biggest one, by the way, that I hear is the Chevy Colorado and the Nissan Frontier. I don't know. You got to go with what makes you happy, right? So anyway, that's the deal that Toyota is offering on the Tacoma right now and an example of what it's going to cost you based upon a $40,000 purchase, give or take whatever equity you're going to put into the trade. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is this a good deal or way too much money? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.